What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm gonna to show you guys a few different ways to unlock a window when you don't have the key. Let's get straight into it guys, let's do this. All right guys, so we've got a viewer out there who's just recently bought a house and they have a whole bunch of locks on their window that are locked and they don't have the key. So today I'm gonna to show you guys a few different ways that you can go about fixing your issue. Now the first way that you can go about it is obviously call a locksmith. Um, you're basically going to be calling them out, not so much to open up the lock, but to rekey it. Now to rekey a lock, depending on how many locks you have in the house, if it's just one, you're looking at about $150 to $250, depending on the locksmith and the time that you call them. The more locks you have, the cheaper it is. So if you've got about five different locks in your house, they might only charge you $80 per lock, but I'm going to show you guys a whole bunch of different ways that you can go about this and do it yourself. The first way is we've currently got the window um, locked. We don't have the key, which means we won't be able to open it. Now the best way to go about this, sometimes you get lucky and you're able to do this, you want to slide your window mechanism, the lock up into the lock position. Now this works on this particular style here. You want to put it basically into the middle of the frame because in the middle of the frame, that's where we're going to get the most amount of flex um, in this frame here. And on the back of this lock, I'll show you guys a little bit later on, it's basically got um, a little groove on there and it catches onto the lip of the aluminium frame here. So what you want to do in this case here is we're going to put this in the middle, we're going to pull the window frame towards ourselves, and we're going to twist that lock because it's made out of plastic. Just put a little bit of pressure on the back of that lock, and you should hopefully be able to clear that little lip. So just push it in towards the frame as well. Make sure it's not catching. Pull back on the lock, and you can unlock it from the inside. Now once you've done that, at that point, you can remove your window, so simply slide up, pull the window frame out, wiggle it out, and now we've got our window frame. So what you want to do at this point, these little locking mechanisms here um, slide onto a little rail on the side of the window. So all you need to do is just simply slide it all the way up or down, all the way until you get to the top of the channel, and that'll completely slide right out, and you'll be able to go and replace it with a new one. So I'm going to quickly put this window here back and I'm going to show you guys a few different ways that we can also go about this. So it's currently still locked. Like I said, you can go out there and buy a new one. Your local hardware stores unfortunately don't um, carry all different styles of these locks. Um, there is a company out there called Mr. Windows where you can basically just take a photo of it, send it off to them, and they'll be able to tell you exactly which one it is that you need. They'll send you out a new lock with a new key and they're actually pretty cheap. So um, they're super reliable, those guys, and I use them personally. So we're gonna relock this window back in the lock position. And I'm going to show you guys a few different ways that we can also open this. So the next way that I'm going to show you guys is to actually pick the lock itself. Now, you can go out and buy a set of lock picking um, picks like these ones here. Relatively cheap. Um, keep them around the house. They always do come in handy. Um, so what we're going to do at this point, we're going to pick the lock. I've shown you guys previously how to do it. You can check out my other videos if you want to learn how to do it yourself. But I'll quickly show you guys. We're using a triple peak here simply because it's a bit more convenient. So the top of the keyway here, we're going to put our tensioning tool, we're going to drop all those pins down, I'm going to show you guys how to do it as well, if you don't have a lock picking kit, um, we're going to use a um, paper clip, so you can see that it's starting to turn, turn it all the way around, we obviously don't have much room here, flip it around, keep going, and now we've got the window locked, so another way that you can do it, is by using my favourite paper clips. Alright, so now it's time for the paper clip or paper clips as people like to point out It's two paper clips that you'll need first thing you want to do is open one up completely straight or as straight as possible As much as you can and then we're going to take our two points Bend them towards each other and we're going to flatten out our little loop here if you find it a little bit hard You can use a pair of pliers Squash them in together just like that. Now we're going to take our other paper clip and we're just going to basically open up just one little side of it on a bit of an angle just like this. So I'm going to quickly lock this window here back up. Drop all those pins. If you find it turned just a little bit and it's no longer turning, you've probably overset your pins. So just wind it back just a little bit till you hear a couple clicks. Start again. 
and once again I think I've overset those ones so this one here doesn't spring back as easy as other locks try again all right and now we've got our lock locked again now we take our paper clip and once again we're going to be using our tensioning tool from the top of the lock so you just simply slot it in the top of the lock just a little bit in there and then you want to bend it over what we're doing here is we're basically creating our own little tensioning tool just as the professional would use right here so now we're going to take our tensioning tool put it in the top of the keyway this time try keep it as high up as possible so we've got as much clearance as possible to pick those pins once again bump them all down a little bit hard to do with the paper clip and also keep it out of the camera's view I've got most of them down except for that last one once again we'll take off a little bit of tension wait for those clicks we might have overset it start again just having trouble with that last pin I think my tensioning tool might be in the way so once again we'll remove it take a little bit of that tension off make sure it's up right at the top not the best way to do it but it's definitely a way that you can do it without having the tools and then we've got it turned over once again remove that out turn it all the way over and now we've got our window unlocked so hopefully that video has helped you guys out um, this one here was specifically for a viewer that had their windows locked now we are doing this from the inside of the house um, so it is definitely your house that you're working on lock picking tools I'll leave a link in the description hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and you've learned something new as always guys like comment and subscribe until next time I'm Bill thanks for watching Bill's out too so if we have a look at the face of the lock here there's a little lip on the side here and that catches onto this aluminium frame right here so when we close it a little bit hard to see but it basically goes over that lip and then latches on you can't open it until you retract it and slide it back out